Hi guys, so this is going to be my December Q&A and I'm in a different part of my house today, I'm in my living room, not my room in case you noticed, um, seeing as it's Christmas in like, I don't know, three days, is it? Yeah, it's three days. Um, I thought I'd make a video in front of my Christmas tree, so here's my Christmas tree. I actually really, really don't like Christmas, um, and if it was up to me I wouldn't celebrate it, but um, for those of you that do, I thought I'd do something at least a little bit festive, so there's a Christmas tree. So yeah, I'm gonna just go on with questions if you wanna be involved in the next one. As always, go like my Facebook fan page. I post on it every month. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna go on with questions. What did you think about Desolation? And that's Desolation with Smile, if you don't know. Um, I really, really enjoyed it. I think it was really good, but as I said, as soon as I watched it on the day it came out, I would have preferred if they focused a little bit more on the characters that are actually in the book, like Beyond and stuff, and stuck a bit more to the original storyline. I mean, they have most of the stuff that's in the book, but I think they focus too much on stuff that isn't, rather than is. Like the whole Toriel bullshit, I really don't like that whole love triangle thing. Like I really, really, really wasn't a fan of that, but you can't get annoyed at it because it's a film, and you can't make it the same as a book because it wouldn't suit a film if it wasn't really fast paced and stuff like that. So um, I guess it works for film, but I wasn't a big fan of that. Are you going to come to New Zealand? If so, would you do a meet and greet? Yes, I really want to go to New Zealand. That is one of the most places I want to go. I really want to travel the world and stuff. It's just money. I have no money and I don't know how I'm going to, you know, actually do that. But one day I will do. And yes, I would do a meet and greet if I went there. Um, but it probably won't be for a long time. Have you got any concerts coming up? Uh, I can't really think of any, to be honest, that I've got coming up. January I have Skin Dread. Uh, Lamb of God and Lesson Jake and all those ones that are playing with them. I can't remember exactly who it is. I think it's Zebra Head and someone else can't remember. Um, but I've got those, but other than that, I can't really remember what ones else at the moment. Have you decided what festival you're going to go to yet? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've decided now because I was kind of contemplating like I didn't know what one to go to, I didn't know whether to go to Sonosphere or Download, but I'm going to go to Download and I'm going to day ticket Sonosphere for Metallica. Would you ever go vegan? Um, I would like to, yeah. I would really like to at some point, but it's just, it was kind of a bit risky me even going vegetarian because I don't have the best health, in case you guys haven't noticed. Like every single video, I always say I'm ill and I'm always ill and stuff. So um, if that ever changes, uh, then I definitely would do, but it's not really the best for my physical health, to be honest, right now. But at some point, if I could, I would do. Can you say you love me? It would make my life. Um, that's from Amy Apple Pie. So I love you. <laughs> what are your new tattoo ideas? Tattoo ideas. I'm getting this part of my arm, this bit, and this bit, and around this filled in in a couple of weeks. I'm getting an arrow going like across this bit onto this bit here and I think I'm either, I haven't completely decided yet about this bit. Um, I either wanted the Led Zeppelin symbols but I wasn't sure if that would fit so if that doesn't fit I'm either going to get this other piece I designed or the uh, Black Album Snake, that's Metallica by the way, and I'm getting the stars done on this because when I got it originally it was on my original design but for some reason she didn't do it. She's like, she's a really amazing artist, so the woman that does um, did both of these. Um, but for some reason she didn't put them in, but um, I don't really care, I'm going to get them done anyway, so that's what I'm getting next. What's your favourite type of music? Well, Mel, obviously, most people know that. My favourite kind of genres are Mel and like classic Mel and rock and roll and grunge and stuff like that. I'll listen to a lot of uh, Norse and Viking and Battle Mel and that kind of stuff, that's my favourite kind of stuff. But my favourite bands are Metallica, Led Zeppelin and Nirvana. Oh shit, my plug just fell out. <laughs> Um, but yeah, sorry about that. Um, sorry if you're grossed out by naked ears. I didn't intend for that to happen. But yeah, they're my favourite genres of music. Are you going to put wax in your dreads? No. Wax isn't good for dreads. Like, um, I mean, if you want to put it in your dreads, you can, but personally, I'm not going to. Um, have you ever been very social? No. Never. <laughs> I mean, I've had friends and stuff, but I've never been a social person. I've never been one of those people that goes to, like, pies and chill the time, is always like doing stuff with friends and blah 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 blah. I've never really been one of those kind of people. I kind of just have always been one of those people that just keep to themselves. 
and have a small group of friends or most of the time none at all for me. Um, I only have like four friends and three of them I have never actually met and one of them I haven't seen for two years so. Do you want to get any more piercings or body modifications if so what are they? Uh, piercings I, I've kind of got all the piercings I want and I don't really plan. I'm not really planning on anymore just now. The body mods, uh, I want to stretch my labra and I'm currently stretching my septum and I'm gonna get my ears bigger and stuff. I also want my ears pointed, which I've said quite a few times, I think. Um, but yeah, they're the ones I want, but I'm probably not gonna get my ears pointed or stretch the labrette for a while because I do really want to do my labrette now, but I can't soon as I don't have a job and it probably won't go down too well with everything I already have and so I'll probably leave that until I get either a job that is accepting of it or I actually start tattooing and stuff so uh yeah what's your favorite moment with Kane? um we have spent literally every day for the past two years together and even before we got together we spent pretty much every day together and saw each other all the time so there is a lot, but I would say my favourite kind of time was either at Download or when we lived at mine. We lived at mine in the summer for like a week um, when my parents were on the holiday and yeah, that would probably be my favourite kind of time. How long are you planning on keeping your dreads for and how long are you planning on dying them? Um, again, I kind of view dreads as a modification because it's basically like a modification but for your hair um, and it's one of those things you shouldn't really get unless you're planning on potentially keeping them forever so um, I'm not planning on getting rid of them but I don't obviously I can't tell the future I don't know what's gonna happen in the future but I didn't get them planning on never getting rid of them and I'm planning on getting my natural blonde which is kind of like a light dirty blonde what's your favorite Nirvana song my I don't ever normally have favorite songs but my favorite Nirvana song is Slither. What are you planning on getting on your sleeve? Uh, for this one, obviously I'm planning on getting both my arms eventually, it's just lack of money why I don't have more tattoos than I do. I only have, what, like, seven, I think. Um, but yeah, on, sorry, I keep going off track, I'm really sorry. Um, but yeah, on this arm I got, I'm getting this stuff on my lower arm that I just said. Then I think I'm getting a portrait of Kirk Bain up here, and then above that, like, going up on this bit, I'm getting a piece that I designed for my family. I'm not sure if this has gone out of focus. I don't know. Are we in focus? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, um, I'm getting those. I don't know. I've not decided why one on the inside of my arm yet, but I guess it'll come to me. Um, yeah, that's what I want. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm going to get on there. And I have really, like, manly biceps. Like, I don't know if you can see, but I really, really hate my arms. I don't actually work out my arms, but they're you know, they're quite manly for a woman. I really don't like that. <laughs> Other than your sleeve, are you planning on getting any more tattoos in the future? Well, yeah, obviously I plan to pretty much get covered. Like there's nothing I wouldn't get tattooed, um, personally. And, um, but yeah, I have a lot planned, but because Britain is so cold in the winter, like I can't really get anywhere else other than like my arms and stuff um, tattooed in the winter because I can't really wear any appropriate clothes to get anywhere else tattooed really like on my legs and stuff I can just wear shorts because it's so cold and I have to wear like three four layers outside when I go out at the moment because I I get really cold anyway I'm really sensitive to the cold but um yeah Britain is too cold to um wear anything else so that is why I haven't got my thigh piece done if you've been wondering like I know people ask me all the time but it's just it's too cold um, to do that. Um, but yeah, I have a lot planned, but I don't think I'll get any others other than my arms and shit until the summer. And I, and I have actually been planning on getting the back of my neck tattooed, but I'm not sure if my shop will do it. Because they said they don't do neck tattoos, um, unless you're really, really, really heavily tattooed. But, um, I guess on the back of your neck you can cover it up, but I'm not sure. I guess I'll see about that. Um, do you believe in God? No, I don't. Um, as most people would probably know if you follow me on Tumblr, actually you probably wouldn't know this if you um, just if you don't follow me on there, because this is where I kind of talk about all my shit and kind of do all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, basically my religious views are technically pagan. I don't really like labelling because I don't like 
organised religion because organised religion is kind of more a set of rules and a way you think you have to live rather than just faith and uh, what you believe in the world and stuff like that. So basically, if you don't know, um, there's a lot of different branches of paganism and blah de blah de blah de blah. Um, but what I personally believe is there's no god and what is divine, as it were, is the earth itself and the energy of the universe. So that is just basically um, a really basic description of what I believe, but um, basically I believe if you get to the earth and you get to people, then you'll get good things back. That's basically what I believe. So yeah, anyway, that's all the questions and I hope you enjoyed seeing me in a different part of my house today and seeing my teeny tiny Christmas tree and we're out of focus again. Hello? Hello? Yeah. I need a new camera, my camera's so bad. Sorry, um, I'm rambling again. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go now anyway. I love you guys lots and lots and lots and if you want to be involved in the next one, go like my Facebook fan page or any of my other stuff I post on there as well. My sites will be at the end of this video and in the description. So yeah, anyway, I love you guys lots and lots. Bye!